Evaluating Expressions with the TI-30XS. This calculator is available on the Minnesota State exams. You can use this calculator to do exponents. Take 8 cubed. You should know that that means 8 multiplied 3 times. So 8 times 8 times 8. And you could type that into the calculator and find that it's 512. But the calculator also has a special exponent button. It looks like a little carrot that points up. And you push that little carrot, and you can then type in the exponent of 3, and you will still get 512. Take 7 squared. You could just do 7 times 7, or you could use that new little exponent carrot and give it a 2. But because squaring a number is so common, they have a special button for a number to the power 2. And you can find that little button. It looks like an x to the power of 2. So you type 7, click that button, and it will automatically square that number. Let's say you need to evaluate an expression with fractions. Well, you should already know how to add fractions. You need to find common denominators. So 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. We change it to 9 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. And that's going to be 11 twelfths. Now, the calculator also has a fraction button, so we can type in fractions. And the button looks like a fraction, and it has an n over d, so the numerator over denominator. So you click it, you type in the 3, press the arrow to leave the numerator and go down into the denominator, type the 4. You can see there's a little arrow in the denominator. We press the arrow to get out. Now we're adding, so we put a plus sign, and now we need to put 1, 6. So we click that fraction button again and type the 1, press an arrow to get out of it, type the 6, and then press an arrow to get out of the denominator, and then press Enter, and that tells you that it's 11 12. So these calculators are a great way to check your work. 1 third times 1 and 1 6. So you do 1 third times. Now remember to change 1 and 1 6 into an improper fraction. That'll become 7 6. And when you multiply, you don't need common denominators. You just multiply numerators and denominators and you get 7 18 Now you already know how to put a fraction in, so you press the fraction button, put in 1 third times. Now a mixed number, you press the second button and press the fraction button again, and that'll allow you to put in a mixed number. You can see that we were correct. Let's try evaluating a harder expression. Here we got 5 squared minus 5 times the quantity 10 minus 5. Do your parentheses first and then exponents. So we end up with 25 minus 25, which is 0. Now we can type this whole thing into the calculator, and it will do the correct order of operations. Make sure when you use parentheses that when you open one, you have the closing one go with it. And you can see that 0 was correct. Here's our harder expression to evaluate. We got 2 to the 4th times the quantity 3 plus 4 all over 14. Parentheses become 7. 2 to the 4th means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16 times 7 over 14. 16 times 7 is 112, so we end up with the improper fraction 112 over 14 which when I simplify that and divide, that is 8 whole. Even one like this can be completely typed in and evaluated by the calculator. You can use the fraction button, type in 2 to the 4th, now press the arrow, see here it, the parentheses is still in the exponent, so I need to delete that, press my arrow to leave the exponent, now put a parenthesis, you can see it's on the same level as the 2, and put the 3 plus 4. Close the parenthesis, press the arrow to go down into the denominator, and then type in 14. If you type it in correctly, you can press enter, and it will verify that the answer is 8.